Hi guys! Today I will be showing you my review for A Darkness Strange and Lovely by Susan Dennard. This is the sequel to Something Strange and Deadly which was released last year and I love this series. It is so good. It is so unique and different and I'm just going to tell you guys about it. So I'll start off with kind of the synopsis for the first book. That way you can get the idea of the series of what the books are about. And then I'll get into my synopsis for the second book and my review. Okay, Something Strange and Deadly. In Something Strange and Deadly, Eleanor Fitt, who lives in like 1800s Philadelphia, is worrying about her brother because he has gone missing. And she is extremely worried, as anyone would be. And then she receives a letter from her brother, which was given to her by the dead. And first of all, the dead, it's basically what you think. It is zombies. In this version of Philadelphia, zombies kind of roam. And everyone's afraid of them because they will eat you. Now, Eleanor is convinced this letter is not actually from her brother because she doesn't feel like he would have any association with the dead or anything like that. So she kind of goes on this hunt to find out where he is. And along the way, she meets the spirit hunters. And the spirit hunters basically fight the dead. They are kind of this ragtag team of three people who fight the dead for a living. They're kind of outcasts in their world. So the members of this team are Joseph Boyer, and he's kind of the head of this team. And then there is Daniel Sheridan, who is the inventor. <clears throat> and then there's Ji Chen, and she is kind of the muscle of the team. Along with the help of the spirit hunters, Eleanor searches to find her brother, and all sorts of different plots are coming together, and in the end, it was not how Eleanor had predicted, and it kind of leaves her world in shatters. For those of you who have not finished Something Strange and Deadly, you may want to leave now because I'm going to get into my synopsis for A Darkness Strange and Lovely, and it could get a bit spoilery for you who have not finished the first book. In the beginning of A Darkness Strange and Lovely, Eleanor is kind of by herself. She's all alone. She's struggling with a lot of things, like her mother, who is kind of going insane, and obviously the loss of her hand. Not only that, she's also struggling with the loss of the spirit hunters, who have moved on to kind of fight dead in another area. So Ellen living her life. It's not the life she wanted to live, but she's living it. Where she's haunted, basically, with these visions of these hounds with yellow eyes, and she fears that Marcus is coming for her. So immediately she boards a boat that's heading to Paris where the spirit hunters are. And there she meets Oliver. And we don't really know what to think of Oliver in the beginning. But he claims to have been a friend of her brother's. Eleanor doesn't quite trust him. But Oliver kind of pulls her in with black magic and necromancing. But Eleanor does not think that Oliver will be able to influence her that much. So she allows him to accompany her to Paris. When she arrives in Paris, she realizes there's something much more strange going on than what the spirit hunters had told her. The death count is rising, the hungry are appearing more often, and the spirit hunters are kind of getting overwhelmed. Eleanor feels like she needs to help the spirit hunters, but to do so, she goes against what the spirit hunters believe and everything that they stand for. Obviously, this leads to some conflict between the two, and this is also a focal point for the story. Towards the end of the story, you kind of have an idea of who's behind this, but you're still surprised. I was sad to see this book end because I have to wait a whole year. But it was an extremely good book, you guys have to read it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's brilliant. Well, there's my overview for A Darkness, Strange and Lovely. You guys, I definitely recommend this book. You will be obsessed. See you guys later, and don't forget to aim for the knees.